Hey guys, what is up? It is Mandy Brady here, and I have a new video for y'all today. This was actually a request from a viewer um, from a really long time back, but I just haven't really been able to get around to it. This is from, and I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, it's from Avangia Gru Gruski. Avangia Gruski. Um, she commented on my video about what's in my gym bag and summer workout outfit of the day ideas, which is a really long time ago video. It was like last summer. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to get around to this sooner. Um, I was sort of unsure of how to approach this video, um, but I figured I would make it anyway because I was actually searching on YouTube and I didn't see anyone that posted anything really relating to what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. So I guess I'll be the brave, adventurous soul and be the first one to make a video about this. Um, but she asked me how to pick up guys hooking up versus relationship. So sort of the differences between the two, like how do you pick someone up for just a hookup or for a relationship. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about the differences that I came up with uh, for you guys. Um, but like I said, I'm not a dating expert. I'm not a certified professional like dating coach or something. Um, I'm just talking from personal experience, from experiences with friends, things like that. I'm just sort of relying off what I know um, because I'm by no means a professional and I'm not like super old into the dating scene. I'm only 21 so um, I'm just going to give you guys the best advice that I can, especially for you, Avangia. I think that's your, how you pronounce your name. I'm really sorry if I screwed up, but I hope you're watching this. Um, so anyways, let's jump right into it. These are just the things that I was able to come up with, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to pick up guys hooking up first. So typically, I would say if you're looking for a guy to hook up with, I would say that you would probably want to find him at sort of like a nightlife type scene. You could go with like your girlfriends for a night out um, so that way you're not like by yourself in case it's sketchy or something or you want to leave or you don't really find a guy that you're really interested in pursuing. Um, but I would say typically at a club or a bar of some sort is where you could definitely meet someone that could be a potential hookup um, and like I said, some sort of nighttime scene. Um, and I would say if it is a club and there's music and things like that, that you should dance with him because that will sort of hint at the fact that you're kind of attracted to him. At least I would think so. If I was a guy, I would probably be like, oh, wow, this girl is dancing with me. Like, maybe she's attracted to me. Maybe she's interested. Who knows? Um, so that sort of leaves it open. Um, also, just persistently flirting with him and you know, just being, like, really cutesy about it, um, not being creepy about it, and not being, like, too persistent, like, if he clearly isn't interested in you, you shouldn't keep, like, trying to flirt with him, um, you should probably get the message and then try to flirt with someone else, and try not to make it annoying, like, by persistent, I mean, like, just keep, like, saying compliments and, like, keep, like, boosting his confidence and making him feel like he's, like, the hottest guy there. So that sort of thing when I say persistently flirting. Um, and then also just be cutesy, you know, like maybe give him a non-creepy wink, you know, like be all like cute, like I don't know how to do that, but um, I, I mean, I probably could if I was in the situation, but I'm not in the situation right now. I'm just talking to you guys, but you know, like a cute little wink here and there and give him a little smile, like a flirtatious smile, you know, like a little sexy smile. I'm sure you guys can pull that out. Um, but yeah, just like give that because that sort of um, is a sign that you're definitely interested in hooking up with this guy and this guy's going to probably read into that as that you're interested in hooking up with him. Um, make him know that you are attracted to him. So by either telling him that you're attracted to him, like you can literally whisper in his ear when you're dancing and be all cute and sexy about it and be like, hey, I think you're really hot or you're really cute, whatever you want to say, you have a great smile, something, you know, like make sure he knows that you're attracted to him. And like I said, you can either tell him in like a cutesy way, like I just said, 
Or you can make some sort of physical contact so that way he knows for sure that you're definitely attracted to him. Like you could touch his leg if he's sitting down next to you. You could hold his hand. You could like touch his waist when you're dancing with him or his arms, whatever. Um, you know, you could even stroke his face if you want, if he lets you. Um, and you can even go as far as kissing him. I mean, I know plenty of girls, including myself, that have had their fair share of makeout sessions at a party or a bar or club of some kind, um, because that's obviously a pretty sure sign that you're probably going to get with that guy that night if you're, like, sitting there making out with him. I mean, of course, you don't have to just because you're making out with him. You don't have to go anywhere with him after, but, you know, that is always an option, and that sort of gives the guy a clue in that you're interested in phys having physical contact with him. Um, so ask him to go back to his, or ask him if you can go back to his place. That's, like, the biggest clue in. If you can go back to his place, like, after the club or the bar or the party, wherever you are, um, just asking to go back to his place is definitely going to hint at the fact that you want to have sex or you want to, you know, do something physical with him. You don't have to have sex by any means, but, you know, anything that is physical, contact of any sort that's more than kissing and needs to be behind closed doors, um, definitely hint at that. Um, and then also ask him for his number and say, like, when you text him, um, just say, like, we should hang out sometime. Or you can even tell him that in person. Like, when you're asking for his number, you can be like, yeah, I really think we should hang out sometime. And by hang out, that, that kind of implies hooking up sometimes. Not always. Guys don't always pick up on that. But most times when guys ask me to hang out, they're usually wanting to hook up with me. So, from personal experience, I have had, um, guys just be like, want to hang out? And then it turned into something more. I mean, I know they're my guy friends that that will always be my guy friends, that will never be anything more, like, they will ask me to hang out, and it will not mean anything, but if it is a guy that you've had these sort of interactions with, like, the, uh, physical contact, the dancing, the flirting, like, if you've had all of that prior, um, then he's definitely gonna probably assume that you guys are gonna be hooking up, um, because, like, asking a guy for his number, first of all, that means you wanna, like, make him a booty call, you know, you want to, like, text him or whatever. Not always, but in this scenario it would be, and texting him to hang out, um, after flirting with him persistently and all of these other things, making physical contact, um, then I think he will get the idea or impression, um, that you want to hook up with him. But, as I said, there's always a fine line or a blurred line between relationships and hookup. I mean, I still am not an expert by any means myself on the differences, but I know that sometimes they can come together and mix up because I know I've been really confused in the past before about a guy wanting a relationship or wanting to just hook up. Um, so there, like I said, um, these things can sort of blur together sometimes. So it's really just very general advice that I'm giving you guys right now. So now that's it for hooking up. So how to pick up guys hooking up. That was how to do it. Um, so now I'm going to talk about how to pick up guys relationship wise. So I would say you should meet this guy preferably during the daytime, um, somewhere public, hopefully, um, unless he's like a friend and you know him previously or something or whatever. You could even meet him at a party if you really want to. Um, or sometimes at a bar you can also meet a guy as long as it's not like... I don't know, as long as he's not, like, extremely drunk, you probably shouldn't be going for an extremely drunk guy, because if you're trying to get to know somebody and you're, like, serious, like, seriously crushing on them, it's probably not best if he's extremely intoxicated, so try not to do that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, preferably during the daytime, you can meet him at a party if you want, like a day party or even a night party, whatever. I've met people at parties. I don't think I've ever dated them, though. Um, but that's just my personal experience. I know people that I've met at parties, and they ended up dating, and they're really happy together. So, yeah. Um, try to talk to him. 
like, definitely try to talk to him. That's the first step. And try to have a real conversation with him, not just be like, hey, want to dance? Like, let's dance. And then not talk to him. Like, try to actually sit down and have a real conversation with him. Ask him questions about his life, you know. Try to be philosophical. I don't know. Try to really get to know him because um, you're interested in him more than just his looks and his appearance. You want to know who he is as a person. Um, let's see. So, yeah, just showing general interest in him as a person, not just his appearance. Like I said, yes, you're going to be physically attracted to him probably when you first see him, but, um, the difference between hooking up and, you know, being in a relationship or wanting a relationship with someone is you actually want to get to know who they are and like who they are, hopefully, before dating them. Um, but, yeah, and hooking up is just purely based off physical appearance, um, so yeah, um, unless, you know, you're into the whole personality thing with the hooking up too, then more for you, I guess, um, but I just know, like, traditionally, it's just based off physical. Um, let's see, do not be persistent, oh yeah, do not be persistent with flirting, and make the flirting very discreet. So you want to sort of just drop, like, cute lines in here or there. Just be like, you know, you have a really nice smile or something like that. Or be like, I really like that shirt. You know, it's really cute. Or something, you know, just very discreet, very nonchalant. Like, nothing too, like, out there, like I was saying before, um, you know, by telling him he's hot. Like, you don't want to say anything about his appearance well, you can say things about his appearance, like you have nice eyes or you have a nice smile, but, like, nothing like, oh, my God, you're so hot. That's more for hooking up. Like, oh, you're so cute, you're so hot. Like, you don't want to say that to him. Um, you want to just say things about him are cute, not hot. Just don't use the word hot. Just say, oh, you have a nice smile. You can use the word nice. You can use the word cute. Just stay away from the word hot because hot and sexy sort of lean more towards uh, the hookup type thing until you're in the relationship and then you can use words like that. Um, but trying to get into that relationship, do not be using words like hot and sexy. Just delete them from your vocab. Um, let's see. So yeah, like making the flooring discreet like that. Um, let him come to you and sort of chase after you. Like let, leave him wanting more from you. Like you don't want to give everything away. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to just come come at him and go hard at, like, the flirting. You want to leave him wanting more. Um, so you sort of want to just let him come to you. Like, you could even talk to him for, like, five minutes or so and then just walk away and, like, see if he comes to you um, to, like, talk to you, but, like, obviously don't just, like, randomly walk away. Just be like, oh, I'm gonna go get a drink with my friend real quick. Um, maybe I'll see you later tonight. Like, say something like that, and then if he wanders back over to you, or you guys bump into each other again, then that's definitely a really good sign, whether it's on purpose or not. Um, so yeah, um, and sort of tease him. That is sort of teasing him, just, like, leading him along the little string, but not leading him on in the bad way. I don't want you guys to misinterpret that, but, you know, sort of ease him into it, you know, ease him into the idea that you actually might be really interested in him. Um, let's see, let him ask you for your number. So, let him sort of try to make that initiative, and if he doesn't, then move on, you know, um, but he should, if he is, you know, a regular guy, and he finds you attractive, and he likes you as a person, or wants to get to know you, I'm sure he's gonna try to ask you for your number, um, if you guys have had, been having a conversation throughout the night, um, so definitely try to get that number, try to make him want to ask you for your number, because that will definitely, hopefully, lead to more run-ins with him. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so leave him wanting more, like I said before, and try to be a little mysterious. Like, don't give too much away. You want to let him not know things about you. Like, you don't want to tell him all of your life secrets and your big life story, um, the first time meeting him, because then he already knows everything about you, and there's nothing left for him to learn, so why would he want to, you know, ask you for your number or take you out on a date if he knows everything already, and what if he just doesn't see it based off of that. Like, you want him to get to know you on a deeper level. So, 
Definitely be mysterious. Leave him wanting more. Okay. Um, tell him you would be interested in going out together sometime or getting to know him. So going out together means going out together means going out on a date in public. You know, that is something where, you know, hooking up is not really going to happen in public unless it's like some weird alleyway. I don't know. But, you know, hooking up really does not happen in public unless it's just like kissing, but that's not really, I mean, I consider it hooking up sort of, but not really. Like, it's not hooking up that needs to be behind closed doors. So, by saying you want to actually, like, go out with him in public and, like, go on a date, that definitely hints at the fact that you obviously might be interested in a relationship with him and, you know, just getting, the fact that you want to get to know him is definitely going to make him realize, like, oh, this girl, like, really is interested in me. So that's sort of going to give him those hints. And then also just try to find some common interests with him because that's what's going to really hit off the conversation and have you guys talking for a long time. And if there's absolutely nothing in common with you guys, it's okay. I mean, if the re if the personalities are compatible to each other and if you guys have a good time with each other and you laugh a lot and you're happy, um, you don't have to have a million things in common by any means, but try to find something that you guys can talk about that you have in common. Common grounds is always an easy way to have a conversation, and that definitely makes somebody want to be more interested in you and want to spend more time getting to know you, those sorts of things. So I hope this was helpful for all of you guys, and thank you again, Avangia. I think I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm not sure. Avangia Grutsky, thank you so much for requesting this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked this and my advice videos in general because I have a few of them. Um, and feel free to subscribe if you guys want to see more. All right, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.